Good morning, this is your media report for Wednesday, July 9th, 2014. I'm Sergeant Jay Henderson, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. Going back to yesterday and last night's calls for service, we responded to 78 calls in the last 24-hour period. We wish to hear from anyone that can provide information concerning any of our calls or investigations, and we can be reached by telephone at 506 648 3333 at our email police at stjohn.ca or if you wish you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers program at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website crimemb.ca. Three items to note that are considered newsworthy. Yesterday morning at 8.15 a.m. we responded to an ATV collision on Highway No. 1 eastbound near the exit ramp 112 by Spruce Lake in Laurenville. A single ATV was involved where a 26-year-old male operator struck a large rock and was thrown from his bike down over an embankment. The male victim was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital with moderate injuries not considered life-threatening. On June 23rd, I reported that we responded to a commercial break enter and theft off of Rossi Avenue in East St. John. A suspect was identified as a result of processing the scene forensically. Yesterday afternoon at 1.45 p.m., this 25-year-old male suspect wanted in connection with this break and enter was observed near the intersection of Charlotte and North Market Street. When our officers attempted to arrest him for break and enter, he resisted and attempted to flee from police. He was eventually apprehended and upon searching this mail, he was found in possession of a firearm. He is currently in our custody facing several criminal charges which include break and enter, resisting arrest, obstruction, and possession of a weapon. He is expected to make a provincial court appearance later today to answer to the approved charges. And lastly to report, at 2.22 a.m. early this morning an assault occurred uptown at a residence off of Richmond Street. A 47-year-old male was assaulted and received head and facial trauma. He was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital to be treated for injuries not considered to be life-threatening. Our Forensic Identification Unit was called out and has processed the location of the assault. There have been no arrests made at this time, but our investigation is currently ongoing. And this will end your media report for today, July 9th. Have a great day and be safe.